Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am really excited to show you a new catalog available in 2020 Design. Um, if you're anything like me, you're always looking for ways to just really enhance a space or take a design that you've started and just try something different. And this is a really cool catalog to do that with. So here's a design that I've started. Um, obviously, on-trend finishes, all those whites and grays. But sometimes when you have so much of that, we need to add a little bit more texture, a little bit more variety to that space just to kind of spruce it up a little bit. So um, this Element Designs catalog is a really neat way to do that. If you've never seen their product before, here's an example. I'm out on their website, element-designs.com, and you can actually go take a look at their catalog pretty quickly. They offer a lot of different finishes and styles to help um, really just add a little bit something different to your designs. I mean, look at the contrast with some of these big finishes and textures. I'm going to go through the first few pages of their brochure and you can just see all their different spaces that they have their product in and just impressive looking. So can you imagine with that space that I've started, it's kind of like this uh, example up in the corner, maybe I could add a little bit of glass, a little bit of aluminum, just to add a little bit of definition to that space that's already begun. So let's see what that looks like actually in 2020. It's not very difficult at all. First of all, you'll want to make sure you have their catalog installed, and you can get that from 2020.net. Once you install it, you'll notice that you could actually install two versions, an A and a B, so you could do two different door styles or two different colors if you wanted. And you don't actually have to go click through the local browser to apply it, all you have to do is pick the cabinet you want to add it to, and in the attributes, it's an add-on. So any of your product lines, they might offer a few different door styles, but if you're looking for something a little bit different, instead of picking the cabinet lines add-on, you can change that cabinet over to the element designs and within here I can add aluminum frame. By picking that and hitting apply, now when I step in, and I go and I choose my styles and pricing, it will allow me to pick from the elements designs examples. So this actually takes you step by step. It's very easy to go through and visually pick exactly what you're looking for. Let's say we wanna try that aluminum in the brush stainless, and then you get to pick a door insert. I'm just gonna do clear glass for today. Um, what's the door pull if you want one? And what color is that pull? We'll match it again and do stainless. All right, now that I've gone through and I've picked all of my selections, you can always double check it. Upper right hand corner, there's a little button with three lines in it that either lets you go in and check to make sure did you actually pick everything? Do you want to clear this and start over from scratch? Or would you like to print this? If you print it, a lot of times I'll print it to PDF so I can just double check it, or I could use this as a great um, way to have my client verify. If you look at all of these, okay, does that look good? Let's sign off on it and then we can move on. So if I come back out and I submit this, it applies all of my selections. And when I close that, now this cabinet will have have that accent door. How cool is that? Okay. So I would be able to go around my project and apply that to every cabinet that I want. Something a little bit different, that little bit of an accent. We'll go into attributes, make sure we add it to this wall cabinet as well. So add-ons, I switch it over to my element design catalog and add that aluminum frame door. Now that I've already picked the style, you can see it apply to it right away. Now, depending on the catalogs that you're working with, you might actually see some different things. Over on this other wall, let me go in through my elevations and you can see I actually have two cabinets here that are stacked and they have flip up doors. And I'm gonna go ahead and select both of them. So I'm gonna just hold my control key down and I'll go ahead and choose attributes. So instead of doing them individually, you can select multiple. And I just wanna go in and find my elements and add that, say okay. Okay, so I added it to both of these. Now, this is the really fun part. Let's go in and take a look. Okay, now you can see how different that looks in that space. Very cool. Let's take a look a little bit closer at that refrigerator wall. I just zoomed in. I had that view already saved. And what a cool way to really show off that cabinet. It's a little bit different. Remember that one I said opened up. So another thing I might do to really show this off well is within the attributes of that cabinet, Let's take a look, and under variables, you have the choice to actually open that door. What a great way to show the client maybe how 
tall that's going to be when it opens up. Or if I open it up too far, it might uh, hit the ceiling depending on the clearance in that space. So I'm going to apply that. Let's go back and take a look at that in the rendering. Okay, I don't think I'm hitting the ceiling yet, but I'm pretty close. So a great way just to verify, to help the client really imagine what that space is going to look like and a lot of things to consider. Now, the other thing you'll want to think about, the way we added this to our um, design is you took an, ex an exact cabinet and you added another door. So you might have some additional add-ons that you will need depending on the manufacturer you're working with, which means you could take the standard door off and you might need to finish the interior of the cabinet. So just don't forget to consider those things before you place that order. But I hope you enjoy this catalog.